Good morning, guys. It's Rachel checking in. VLCD something. I don't know. 13 maybe? I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> I have goose egged for two days, and today I woke up with a two pound release. Yay! Cannot believe it was two pounds. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am. Um, I'm, st I'm at 171, so I am teetering 171.2 actually, but I'm teetering right there where I'm like, I'm, I'm as low as I've been in six years. This is my, if I get to 171 even, I'll be as low as I've been in six years. So very excited about that. Um, I, my pattern is the first four days I lost a pound 1.2 every day. And then I goose egged for two days, lost another 1.2, goose egged 1.4, um, had a gain in there, a one pound gain um, from probably salt content in my food from the day before. And, and then I released that pound plus a 0.4 the next day, goose egged for a couple days, and now I have a two pound release. So um, I seem to have a pattern, but I think my pattern is due to my sodium content because I have been seriously doing some serious sodium um, the last couple, the last two weeks, the last week, I don't know, like everything I make is, it's like I need flavor and everything I'm making, like I'm using canned tomatoes, that's tons of sodium in it. So um, my conscious effort is I always drink 60 to 70 ounces of water a day, period, like way before I did HCG. I've had like bladder, kidney issues since I was like a little kid, like six, seven years old. So if I don't drink that much water, then I end up with a bladder infection like in two or three days. So I've always drank that much water. So that's not anything different, but I've bumped my water up the last three days to 90 ounces a day. So I'm doing a lot more and um, I'm just trying to like counteract any sodium content that would add bloat and things of that nature. So anyway, super, super excited about my release and I'm so close to the new decade, which will just, I will be so excited. So um, yeah, that's all for my check-in. It's PJ day here as my four-year-old calls it. <laughs> which means we stay in our PJs till like 11 o'clock and then we get dressed and go pick up my other son from kindergarten. But he very much likes PJ morning. So mommy's doing a PJ morning too. So anyway, hope everybody has a good Friday and a good weekend. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.